Hello guys, this is Troyden here from Troyden Gaming, giving you a quick tutorial on how to to add uh, a countdown or a count up onto your uh, stream from OBS. Now I'll also show you a few other things that this nice tool has, like adding the time or the date to your stream as well. So um, yeah, we'll go over that now. Now the first thing you'll need to do is download Snaz, as you see right in front of me. This is Snaz. I'll make sure to have the link below in the description if you need that. And of course you'll need OBS. This is not a tutorial how to set up OBS, so I'm sorry you came to the wrong place. First thing we'll do is, I guess, add a count up. So Snaz is open. We'll click on the tab Chronos right here. And right in this field, Chrono Down, that is basically a count down. So let's set it to a uh, count down from three minutes. Actually, we'll just leave it as the default. That is the output format, how you want it to show up. It gives you a little bit of an example there if you want to play around with it. Uh, and this is the message you want it to say when the countdown is over. I'll just leave countdown is over. You can change that to whatever you want. Also some more customization there as you can read. So the first thing we'll do is hit start. That'll activate the countdown. Now the trick to this is right here, the directory and to the file, you'll copy that, uh, copy path to clipboard, and you'll go over to your OBS. First thing you'll do is right click, add, go to text, and you're adding a text file. You can name it, I will choose not to. And you click here, use text from file. What this does, it's actually grabbing the, well, text from the notepad file, or the text file, I should say. So we'll paste that, control V. We got chrono down. That is what we have here. We just took that, copy pasted it right there. Now you can change the font, the color, and all of that how you want to show. I'll just switch it to red for apparently no reason. We'll make it bold. And we'll just hit OK. So as you see, the countdown is right here. It's already counting down as we hit start. If you didn't want to start, well, you can hit stop and, well, we'll show it then. So start. There's no pause apparently. Mm, interesting. Either way, that's how you set up a countdown. We'll put this right here for now. The next thing on Snaz, well, there's a count up option. So I already have this running from earlier. I'll just reset it. So this is how you will see it. Now this counts up. This is again, real simple. If you wanted to start it at like maybe a few minutes into the count, you can do that. But we'll start it fresh at zero. Also the format here, similar to this. This gives you a few preset options. And we'll hit start again and copy and paste this copy. We'll go to add text. I'm not going to name it again. Use text from file, paste. I'll just leave this with a, a bold and that's it. And there we go. So that one is counting up. So that'll count maybe to a certain number, whatever you'd like. And that's really the count up, count down feature. Now in the first tab, there's a time date countdown feature. Uh, this is where you can put time. So if you can kind of get the idea, you just copy and paste whatever's here by either, I, I keep highlighting it and clicking copy, but you can do it whatever way you choose, basic computer 101. Uh, text again, paste, this will give us the time right there, we got the time. And of course you can customize that to whatever you need by editing up here in the output format. And you can do the same for the date, may as well do it, we're here. Get the dates, add text, text four, doo, 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 and there we go. And we got the date as well. So as you can see, this is a very useful tool. You can have these all running at once. Um, I, I stream with this on every time. I don't really use the date too much, but I always use the countdown. Uh, and there's one thing I always use all the time, and this is another option. It's the Twitch viewers. So right here, same thing. You can actually get your viewer uh, count. Now my stream's offline right now, but if it was to be online, every 30 seconds, unless you want to change it to a different number, this will actually check your Twitch channel to see how many viewers you have. The good thing about that is if you want to put a viewer count somewhere on your stream, which you might, you can do that. So you copy and paste that, we go to add, we go to text, go down here, paste, viewer count. So I have, well, zero viewers because the channel's offline. If it was online, it would show how many viewers we have. So very useful for that as well. Um, other than that, there's also a text line changer added into this. Now, I don't really use this, but again, it could have, it could have some use. Um, I'll show you how this works. We'll put line one plus and line two We'll click plus. Now this will switch the lines every five seconds and we'll hit start. Of course, we get a little bit of a, well, 
directory, copy that to clipboard just as we've been doing the entire time. We'll go add, we'll go text, we'll click here, we'll paste it. Now this is gonna show line one and countdown's over up here and line two. So every five seconds, it's changing between the lines. So it's gonna go back to line one every five seconds. You can add as many as you want and get creative. Maybe there's some use for your stream. I don't really have a use for it, but if it ever comes up, I will take advantage because it is a very useful tool if, if you can find uh, you know something to use it for. But other than that, though, that's basically about it. So we have, you can also, sorry, I skipped one. You can count down to a specific time. So actually, this one might be the most useful you for countdowns, that is. You can uh, count down, let's say, we want to count down till July 2014. That's impossible. That's in the past. So let's change the date. How do we change the date? We click here. Let's put, uh, let's put November the 30th. So we're doing a countdown until November 30th. We'll hit start, copy this, add text, ta-da, and der, der, der. that's what we've been doing. So that'll give us the exact time until that date, uh, November the 30th. We got 24 days, I guess two hours, 18 minutes, and nine seconds and counting. So that's another bit of a trick. I Sorry, I skipped over that one. Um, but other than that, that's really about it. It's a very, like, or we can, oh, well, sorry, I keep skipping things. There's other things in this, sorry. Bits I don't use. You got your CPU usage, your RAM available, the percentage. Well, you can read. Um, this is something you can add in your stream, doing it the same way. Now, you can, well, you add what you want. So if you want the RAM available, I'll just click them all to show you. Uh, right down here, copy path to clipboard. Now, this isn't something I would put on my stream, but there are some streamers that are doing that. I just accidentally clicked the wrong thing. Add text. We'll add that in and see how this looks. So that just gives you all that information. Um, yeah, I, I don't really have any purpose for that, but depending on what you're streaming and your use and your needs and what you just want to see, maybe that's something you'd like to add to your stream. So my apologies. I forgot about that little bit at the end, but I believe that is it. Let's just do a quick scan to make sure we've touched base on everything. Do, do, do. That's really it. Um, other than those things, I, oh, and also maybe I'll tell you this. You can also have sound effects play. For an example, the countdown to specific time. If you want, you can select a sound, find some music, a wave file potentially. You can have it play a certain song or a noise or whatever you want uh, when the countdown ends. That is, again, another customization that I don't really take advantage of, but if you would, you can also do this for the countdowns as well. Probably should have pointed that out earlier. But again, guys, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thank you for watching and uh, have a good night.